Hey guys, it's Ral here and welcome to episode 41 of Let's FIFA 17. So we're continuing our foot champions journey in this episode and as you can see it's somewhat of a longer episode. So we've got 10 more matches in this video but first off uh, I decided to actually complete some squad building challenges. The hybrid one where you get that special kit, the white kit. Um, so I completed the semi-pro one to get a pack. It cost me I think around seven six seven thousand coins or something like that to build the squad and uh, from that i think you've got a player's pack uh, with one rare player in it so all that stuff will go up on the transfer list and eventually sell on and as those players sold on i would complete one more of the squad building challenges leaving me with 200 coins left so uh, i complete the professional one i think it was called um and we go relatively quick through these squats, but yeah, uh, I just built them really, really simple and uh, yeah, got the packs in basically because my hope was that hopefully I'd get something good from the packs because usually you will make profit from that squat building challenge and then be able to use those coins maybe to get some uh, squat fitness cards and stuff like that because that was something I was sort of running low on on my journey through a foot champions and that was sort of my thought process behind completing the squat building challenges. So in the next one we got a, a players pack again but with three rare players in it all would be sold on and then I complete the world class one and I did something I don't really like to do and that was to do that loyalty glitch where you play offline, you back out of the game and then get the match is played on your players i like and i prefer to do it the right way play the matches or have the players from pack spot i thought just so i could sort of advance with foot champions and get some coins in and not having to like play two matches in foot champions then play with a fitness squad play two matches in foot champions i'd rather do the challenges try and get some coins in and then use those perhaps so um yeah that was the way i went about it and as you can see here we got the next pack which was just a rare pack and uh, not too much stuff in it but we do get two squat fitness items which are very very good uh in our journey that at least makes sure that we can play at least two to five more matches uh with our squat uh, and apart from that uh, i listed up all the items there i didn't have enough coins to complete the last one in which um, you get like i think a, a rare players pack or something like that so uh, i decided to jump back in two foot champions rocking with the squad we've been playing with as of late um and uh, seeing if we continue uh, our journey we're currently sitting on seven wins and three losses and uh, as i mentioned in the last episode i would like to have three wins for every loss so if you can get two wins we'd reach that uh, and that was sort of what i was looking for for my like first little objectives uh, putting small objectives for myself and uh, we go into the match and uh, yeah we hold up play there a bit with parasites we wait for his run a little bit of a lucky uh panna there with the pass the back heel and then a finesse shot into the top corner lovely little goal from parasites which just like he is just the main man for me he just backs goals but look at that i think it was walcott with that a crazy shot and in the end we went into extra time my opponent had a corner and i hit him on the counter attack perisic there still with a little bit of stamina left able to run away from sidibe and uh, sort of make his way towards goal but he backed off here i, was, I found costa and he was sort of trying to cover the pass and i decided to go for the shot across goal and it went in with costa and we won the match now sitting on eight wins and three losses so it was a match where i didn't have too many chances though so I felt a little bit lucky to have gotten away with the win. So my next opponent, BPL squad, 4-3-2-1. Uh, one of those midfielders that is just a pain to play against and uh, a pretty strong attack as well. And uh, if you watch this back, you will see my goalkeeper collided with one of my defenders. So he was literally standing at the post when my opponent took the shot and it was like he shot it into an open net. So an easy goal for my opponent, but I would get back to make a 1-1 uh, in the 39th minute and it will, as went into the later stages of the second half i won a penalty here perisic would step up and he would score it to bring me on the winning ways but right from the kickoff things would fall apart really bad defending for me i used the secondary pressure there i pushed smalling way out of way out of position he got a goal back he made it 2-2 and went into extra time and uh, in extra time unfortunately he played on through to dubala i couldn't catch up with him and he would make it three two um and pushing on in the 120th minute i was trying to get forward trying to get a goal back and uh, as you play very attacking of course you leave space in your defense and uh, he would win it for two in the end and uh, i was a little bit disappointed in that loss because if i'd won it i would be sitting on nine wins and three losses thus having that three wins for every loss ratio but instead i was now sitting on four losses and eight wins so now it's only two wins for every loss that's how quickly it could change anyways after the match i had enough coins to sort of complete the final squad building challenge in sort of the set for that hybrid kit 
Um, so uh, again, I did the loyalty glitch thing, which, as I said, I'm, I I don't really like doing it, but for the sake of uh, getting some coins in and then sort of improving my balance on my account, I decided to do it. And of course, we got a, a nice little kit. We got 10,000 coins and a rare player's pack. And again, we get Kone Pianka. And he goes for pretty much discard. So I was quite disappointed with the pack there, considering we get 12 rare players. The best was an 83 rated. A little bit disappointed in that, but nonetheless, we can sell all of the stuff on. Uh, there, most of them just go for discard price, but still around 10,000 coins in. And uh, from just doing all the challenges, I think I probably made around, I'd say maybe. 10 to 15,000 coins profit, and then I got the two squat fitness cards, which goes for like, I don't know, two, three thousand coins. So we at least made a little bit of profit from it. And uh, apart from that, we're ready to play some more matches, see if we can get back on winning ways. And we find Perisic here, he would tuck it in, yet again scoring a goal for me. But my opponent, like he had uh, two legends and Cavani, and long shots was just going to be a pain in this match. He scored one with Cavani there, and Cavani, he would break on through again just in the 45th minute to get my opponent in two the lead making it 2-1 uh, but we win the ball here and we'll break forward ourselves up to Di Maria, Di Maria to Matuidi holding up play a little bit and just trying to, to find some space to ball on the ball forward to Perisic and uh, yeah, again just using the face up dribble here uh, and holding it up as I said just to find a little bit of space to get in for a shot and in the end uh, we do find it here Di Maria with a couple of skill moves he'll tuck it in make it 2-2 get us even and then did I talk about the long shots before? This was a deflection of my player in off the crossbar, down 3-2. And uh, yeah, not long left in the match, and I, I really didn't want to lose another game. So uh, yeah, we break forward here. Di Maria on the ball, on the weak foot of all things. I don't even know how that was possible, but we break even. We go into extra time in the end, and uh, from extra time, it was us on the ball. It was Son who got substituted onto the pitch using sort of the ball roll boost. I'm sort of starting to learn that, and I get my luck as well. Uh, a deflection goal there, and we make it a 4 a 3. And as we go into the second half of extra time, Costa on the ball here, running away with his extra stamina, going into the box here, a little touch, and it, I think. If I remember correct, it was meant to be a skill move, but it ended up being a long touch or something like that. Uh, but uh, we, we got the penalty, we scored it, and uh, we made it a 5-3, and it won the match. So, uh, yeah, we get another win, now sitting on 9 wins, and, uh, yeah, I believe we have 4 losses at this stage. So, um, uh, after that, uh, I, I those are, like, all the matches I played on the Friday, and uh, I took a break, and I sold some players on overnight. I sold Dybala because... Like his goals to game ratio wasn't that great, and I wasn't I wasn't really feeling playing with Dybala. Like he goes for so many, much coins, but he wasn't really doing much for me. So I decided to change up my squad. Um, so uh, yeah, um, we we changed up the personnel a little bit. We got a uh, Suprian in and Jao Mario in our midfield. A Suprian, uh, very good stats all around. Um, and then we got Jao Mario, uh, very, very good stats in him, uh, shooting, passing, dribbling, physical defense. Like, his stats are somewhat better than Asamoah, but don't get me wrong, Asamoah is such a good player, and if I could have kept him, I would. But for the links up top, uh, I needed a, an Inder player. And then I got with Rui on the left back spot, which I think is a little bit worse than Sandro, but it's okay. And then we got our third Mario also. We picked up three Marios, Mario Balotelli. Uh, his second in form with the Hunter chemistry style, he got something like very close to 99 shooting and 90 something pace in game. So, like, he his stats are absolutely ridiculous. The only downside to him is his work rates, they are low, low. Um, and uh, yeah, thus I started my first matches on the Saturday to play the game. Um, and uh, let's just put it like this. It didn't go down too well when I started playing. Uh, I conceded a goal there, uh, down 1-0. Just a really bad clearance for me. Uh, I tried to get back into the game, of course. Here we play for to Balotelli. Sort of the first time really trying him out. Playing it on through to Perisic in the end. And he would back another goal for me to bring me even. And we went into extra time. And as I was playing on the Saturday, I tried out a different controller. Um, just because I, I, I felt when I played on the Friday, some of the stuff I tried to trigger didn't trigger my other controller. But it was a new controller. And it was like stiff and like I didn't like it so I switched back to my other controller as at half time but what it meant was once I went into extra time I was not allowed to make substitutes and that what like that was something I really wanted he got substitutes on Gilvinko and he scored right away and um, so I was quite frustrated but I managed to get a goal back with Balotelli making it 2-2 but it was extra time, it was for the substitutes, because he found substituted Sterling, and he would score, and uh, yeah, that was, I guess I learned something about the game there, because I was like, I was sitting on stream, I was like spamming there, but trying to make substitutes, but I think 
the game thought that that was the secondary controller or something um, and not the main controller or something so i was not allowed to do the substitutes a bit weird and unfortunately i lost the match in extra time now going into the next game i came up against a really tough opponent and it was just neymar all over the place uh, he made a one nil and uh, yeah, Benyeda on the ball there, on through to Neymar, he just seemed to, like he was really good at like, gliding off my challenges when I tried to sort of push him off the ball, he seemed to just weave past me and, and, and make it through, and I, I was really, really annoyed because I felt I was close to getting the ball in many situations, but he just always seemed to get past me, I gotta go back, but then again here, I thought I had tracked his run, I didn't get the ball, and then Neymar with a third goal for himself, and uh, yeah, Neymar, he, like, there, yeah, it just went through, I couldn't freaking get the ball, and he made it for one. One. And he went on the attack. The game was not over here. We actually won the ball and uh, by uh, playing it forward and yeah, we got some substitutes on at this stage and it seems like substitutes are very valuable and in the end it's Perisic to tuck it in, make it 2-4 and uh, 84th minute, another counter attack. Perisic on the ball here, breaking on forward. He still has a bit of stamina left on him. Tuck it past the keeper, give us a little bit of hope of making completing a wonderful comeback. Sanchez on the ball to Son, on to Costa and there we have it, 4-4 four, four. and 90th minute. It was not over. We had a corner here. Set it into the box. We get onto the ball with Smalling. And I was like screaming when I hit the crossbar. Because that would have been an amazing comeback. But instead, it was him to win it in extra time. Uh, and that was our third loss in a row, I believe. Or second, I cannot remember. But I was like, why? Why did I lose that? So I went into another game. Hoping I could turn it around and get a win. We got matched up against the League on squad. A couple of squad building challenge cards in there. And uh, he got past me there with like a set. And he would play it across to Ben Arthur. Take the shot. And that was 1-0 and all for that match. This guy was a really good opponent. I didn't get many shots in. Uh, so I think it was fair enough. I lost that one compared to the two other matches. Where I was a little bit frustrated about losing the way I did, um, but yeah, on a free game losing streak at that stage, not looking too good, and then I got matched up against a ridiculous squ uh, squad, I tried to pass here instead of turn, but it was like a little bit delayed, I turned right into him, he got it, made it 1-0, and that was all for that match, so all of a sudden, uh, my hopes of having three wins for every loss, that, that, that hope just got shattered, because I think I was sitting on nine wins and eight losses at that stage. So I was very close to a one-to-one -one ratio. Very disappointed with myself. And I, it's just that losing streak and playing while being frustrated is just never a good thing at all. So when I went into this match and I, I, I scored a goal and for the first time in five matches I was in the lead. I was really, really happy. And it was like, it just, it turned around. This, this turned like the... So bad fortune into good fortune. We made it 2-0 here in the 27th minute as we went into the second half pretty much right from the kickoff. It's Palotel to break on through, go into the box, try the shot, unlock it to hit the crossbar there, but we pick the ball up right away. It falls to Palotel, a little skill move here, it goes past the defender, a little bit of luck involved as well. And we make it 3-0 and trigger the rate screen. So we got a win and uh, yeah, we're sitting on 10 wins now. One win away from, uh, I think it's, is it silver, silver one? Silver two it is, silver two it is. So um and moving closer to a better reward, next match, BPL and Bundesliga squad. Mane and Marshall, we've seen them many times, and Kande as well. Uh, we played 24 minutes on through to Perisic, and he will back that keeper not even moving. We make a 1-0, and uh, yeah, as I said, that last match when I scored that goal, it seemed to just turn the, uh, the fortune because I was playing good now. Stuff was clicking and working. I got a penalty, but he decided to rate script two rate scripts in a row, two wins. And uh, I was I was very happy at this stage. And uh, yeah, I was playing this midday Saturday, so I was playing this just before the Arsenal Liverpool or Liverpool Arsenal match. And uh, at this stage, I thought should I play one more because then I completed all my ten matches. So I thought I'll play one more. I'm playing well, and then I got matched up against this team. Two legends, uh, yeah, team of the year, informs, ridiculous team. I just thought, ah, uh, we're going to go back to losing. But it was our year on the ball here in the 21st minute, just breaking on through. We get to Balotelli, and it's clumsy, but I didn't care. It was the goal. We made a 1-0, and then I got a free kick. Balotelli with really good free kick stats. There's a perfect range for driven free kicks, and Balotelli shows us why. He makes it a 2 nil, and uh, I was starting to get Balotelli up and running as well. Before, it was just Perisic back in goals, but Balotelli... Starting to, to score some goals for me now as well. Making it 3-0 there. And uh, yeah, in the 69th minute, some good pass and move play here. As you can see, he was just rushing forward at this stage. And Balotelli, he would get away here. And he would make it 
nil so a really really good play there and we get another win so a uh, bit of a mixed episode because we went on that losing streak and that really really frustrated me but in the end we went on to a winning streak and hopefully we'll be able to continue that as we have the next episode out hopefully tomorrow i hope i can get an edit in time and that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching guys and i'll talk to you guys later